currently I'm going to extract my solvents um, this is my second extraction so I have around 35 samples so these are my samples and these are my extracts but these have the polyethylene by creating an imaginary picture of June um, I just thought I'll drop by and give you a little update I wanted to do this yesterday but I did not because I was super tired by the end of the day um, I'm doing the column cleanups for my sediment samples right now and um, I wanted to do full-scale cleanups which uses these really tall columns but since i have 35 samples and these are not bulk sediment samples and just sampler samples uh like the passive sampler samples so i just wanted to do a little small cleanup the problem was i've never done the mini cleanups before and it took me some time to wrap my head around how to do that and how to basically um set up the workflow for it so i i understood that you can prepare the mini cleanup columns a day before you do you plan to do the cleanups so yesterday preparing just the columns like you dry pack the silica gel and the sodium sulfate into the little pipettes um, that took up way longer than i had anticipated so i had time to do only eight cleanups yesterday and by the end of the day i was very tired so i thought i'll just go home take rest and come back the next day like to today i'm going to finish the rest of them like i have i think 24 of them left so i'm going to do all those cleanups today um 
also i'm not going to work in that lab because it's steaming hot there i don't know the ac duct probably is not working uh, in that room I'm, I'm going to do it in the gc lab which is much more ventilated and has a lot of air flowing in it uh, i do not particularly like to switch on the fan in the other lab because it i was packing silica gel so that would create a mess switching on a separate fan which which is there by the way just to uh, make up for the uh, no ac situation so anyway i um, going to do that but right now i'm just um, going to uh, submit my an abstract for this workshop that's coming up on in september so this is a passive sampling workshop it's called the international passive sampling workshop and I have gone to this workshop before just only once in 2019 when it was held in Boston in the Northeastern University. And uh, I really liked it because it's a very specific, um, uh, the audience is very niche. So um, I think uh, my work is a good suit for such conferences because uh, you get very useful feedback from the niche conferences or workshops because all the experts in the field meet for this. So this year, the IPSW is happening in um, the Netherlands, I think. And uh, I would not be able to go there, obviously, but um, there is also a virtual option and I'm going to submit my abstract for that. Um, and hopefully it gets accepted because I'm really looking forward to presenting my work at the IPSW this year. And um, so I'm going to submit that abstract today because today is the last day of submission and uh, we really worked on it the very last moment yesterday. So um, yeah, I'm just going to submit the abstract and then head off to the lab for my experiments. GC and I've just kept my uh, like extracted samplers here stored away labeled them and kept them here I'm going to weigh them and jot down the mass of the polyethylene here so I have to correct it later on for the mass basically 